Get out. No, 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 keep coming, keep coming. There's just a few more. Oh, no, that's fine, that's fine. theater and the restoration of the theater uh, coming back to life. So uh, we truly appreciate that. Uh, so tonight what we're going to do is we're going to do just kind of a mini paranormal investigation. Um, has anybody ever been on a paranormal investigation? Nice. Nice. Has anybody had any paranormal experiences? Great. So uh, tonight was literally the first time we've ever investigated this place. So the one hour before was the first time we've ever been in here actually investigating. So we're hoping this next hour will be a little more active, but uh, you know, like Colonel investigating, we don't know for sure what's going to happen. So we're, we're Central Maine Ghost Hunters. Uh, my name is John. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm one of the team, leader, uh, team leaders of Central Maine Ghost Hunters. I'm Kathy. I'm Heather. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing it for about like three years. Yeah, well, probably yeah. more more than that. About yeah, that's true. Um, Dustin Marsha, he couldn't be here, but he's the, he's the founder um, of Central Mango Center. He started in 2012. So that's been around for a while, and we were lucky enough to kind of jump on and help them out with it. Yeah, so um, we're going to look at the equipment we'll use tonight, and we'll kind of use it in another investigation. Um, just a little bit of difference between what you've seen on TV and sure we've all seen the paranormal shows. Uh, a lot of those shows are done over days, weeks, months. Uh, we have one hour. Right. So, um, we'll go and they're not going to perform for us just because we want to. They may, like, they may not. We're getting some answers, though, so we're getting some interactions. So and I think, we'll it's picking up. I think it's picking up. I think it's the energy is yeah. getting in. Sure there. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all I got back. Make sure we got stuff back. Um, so, I'm sure everybody's seen this if they've watched paranormal shows. This is an EMF detector. And this basically just looks for EMF, electromagnetic frequencies. So which comes from your microwave, your TV, your pellet stove, your electric wiring. Um, spirits can kind of manipulate that energy to make themselves present, at least that's the, the theory. Um, typically when we go into a residence or a place, we do a sweep around, we kind of check to see where the hot spots are. That might, you know, kind of give us, okay, over there is bad wiring, so we kind of get these sheets up. We know that's not paranormal, we can kind of talk that to, you know, bad wiring. Yeah, so, and uh, another thing that we'll set it off is uh, phones. Uh, yeah. So usually when we do our investigations, we either shut our phones off or just put it on airplane mode. Um, but if your phone is on and it's going off, just know that maybe that, that might be the reason it is. Yeah, we'll encourage you to put it in airplane mode. Um, I wouldn't turn it off tonight, just so we, we encourage you to take pictures. Um, right. If you feel something, take a photo. Um, take multiple photos at the same location, so you know if something's. Weird, you might have caught it in one of those three photos. Um, so, we have up on there is uh, what's called a periscope, which is very similar to uh, the EMF detector. It just has rods that go around the lights up, so if something's around it, it'll kind of pinpoint which direction uh, something is. 
Another one of the tools is it's just like the EMF detector also. We've got uh, three of these just placed around up here. This one right here. So if you see a blue light somewhere, yeah, let us know. It's, it's one of our <laughs> one of our tools. There's one by the found items and we put one on the Christmas tree too. But it's the same idea. Um, any, um, any static electricity uh, that comes by it, it should light the blue light up. So you'll be able to tell like maybe maybe something's going on with that. Uh, another piece of equipment used is a voice recorder. Um, this is probably, if you're going to get into paranormal research or any of that stuff, voice recorder is probably the number one item you should have. Um, not sure if we'll get much time to use this tonight, but if we do, um, if your stomach growls, you burp, you fart, you have to admit it. <laughs> yeah. We have, you know, it's like tagging. Yeah, because I mean, that stomach would be growls. No, we're not getting something yeah, some of the rocks under the demon, we don't want those ones to have demons. So, um, but, Another great tool to use too is your bodies. You all have what's yeah. called a sixth sense. So if you feel anything that feels off, funny, you can get sweaty, hot, cold, shaky, nervous, anxious. Yeah, pay, pay attention to those, those feelings you get. Because a lot of the times when we feel them, we'll use these tools to validate what we're feeling. Like if we walk into a weird situation or feeling, you're like, okay, maybe this is something, and then you pull up your EMF detector that's going on. You're like, okay, there's more to this. Yeah, so if you do feel anything, uh, don't hesitate to shut it out. Don't feel silly. Because, um, like I said, we've never investigated this place except for the one hour before. Um, so we don't know what's here. So and we've heard all kinds of stories, so there isn't much that you can yeah. tell us that's going to be like, so, oh my god. Yeah. So you feel it, just let us know, and that way we can kind of focus on the you know, structure we should have. Uh, another piece of equipment we use is a thermal camera. This hooks up to my iPhone, um, and this is great for detecting heat signatures at night. Um, you know, if you're in a place by yourself, you kind of aim somewhere, you see somebody walk by, you know it's not you, you can kind of pinpoint it. Mean, it could be an animal, you know, but um, good to see in the dark for this. Uh, another piece of equipment that we have that's unfortunately malfunctioning tonight, um, the battery keeps draining, but it's an SLS camera. Anybody that's played video games with an Xbox knows the connect. Um, and it just maps out your body. So it's used to, you know, kind of map out something that might be. Jesus, jump us off. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we get it working. Um, yeah, I think it. it's whatever here that's doing it. Because a lot of times what spirits do is they'll take energy from electronic devices. So you, if you walk out of here and find that your phone is a lot lower than what it used to be, it's probably that. Yeah, especially now when they're I mean, they're a little warmed up to us, so they're like, okay, yeah, they're ready yeah, to talk, let's, <laughs> let's play, you know what I mean, yeah. so. Uh, then a, another big piece of equipment we use is a spirit box, which is up on that chair. Um, and that just cycles through radio frequencies um, at a high rate of speed. We, we do it in reverse, so you're not putting, you know, a whole sentence in, you hear things in reverse. Um, so if anything comes through, you know, we kind of, it's like 200 every two seconds, right? Yes, yeah, that one's 250 right now. 250 every yeah. two seconds. Um, so you're hearing just look, 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 look. So that's one of the things we want to start with tonight is uh, it's called the Estes method, which basically you'll be up there, headphones on, plugged into the, the spirit box. It's all you hear, and we'll be down here asking questions. Um, you can either blindfolded or the lights will be off, so you won't really be able to see much. But um, anybody interested in being the person. <laughs> Especially if it's on that stage, because I've been here before. Yes, you definitely something on that stage. Well. Um, so, when we go up there, though, th those chairs are not tied down. So, be very careful with the rock that. Well, they start flying. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah it's a little. That's why we did it right on purpose. So they levitate. Yeah, yeah, they levitate. <laughs> I'm, probably awesome. out, I'm probably out. Somebody's rolling on the camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 you get your camera up there. Uh, the other thing that I didn't mention last time in the group, but you'll see once we turn the lights off, there's a bunch of green dots on the wall. And that's a laser grid. So basically what it is, is it kind of maps out the wall, so if you see somebody walk in front of it or a shadow, it actually gives it depth. You know, so if it, there is a shadow... It'll block out those green lights. It'll block out those lights. Yeah, that's something walking. Um... Oh, wait, the music box. Oh, yes, you can talk about the music box. So, down, we'll go downstairs too, but downstairs, if you feel like some, like, uh, I don't know what you would call it, like, 
creepy music. Creepy music playing and a blue light flashing. It's because I have a music box set up downstairs that's super sensitive to like vibrations. Um, and you can share it with the robot, play with it. Um, it's the same I'm doing so far. Um, so I have it set up on, it's like a, one of those brick pillars down there that's on the top. You hear random music playing that stuff. <laughs> yeah, one other thing that we brought with dowsing rods. Um, I can't use these, but she can and she can. Mm -hmm. um, but there's so much water going through here that they probably won't work. <laughs> but these have been used for, for centuries finding water and rare minerals and stuff like that. Um, a lot of times when we use these for like yes or no questions, they cross or they don't cross. And we do that in like old places that are older where yeah. they would be more familiar with that because that would be a tool they would have used on their farmland to find water to put their well places or so it's really useful for that. Uh, the only other thing is so we have a very limited amount of time so we'll probably have a few people do that if there's other people that want to volunteer. Uh, then once we get on that we're going to go downstairs. Downstairs is sandy and a bunch of wood um, kind of stay on the back side because the as you get we'll down, show you. See on this I'll side show you here, where to stay. It slopes down, and we don't want anybody rolling an ankle. Um, and, and I was already told if anybody gets hurt, I have to push it down through the hole down there. Um, <laughs> and you off the property as fast as I can. So, um, and you get to become a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're just and how awesome is it that it's like, the full of chairs? So once we get her set up up there, uh, we'll go dark. We encourage you to ask questions. Uh, yep. Um, and you guys want some equipment? Yes. Yeah. Anybody want a K2? Yes. Um, Line up. Come and grab it. I want the rainbow thing. That one looks like a rainbow. E. Yay. Okay. When we go downstairs, we'll switch, and other people can get a chance to use some stuff. So. Nice. There's a ghost on the back. St. Augustine. Absolutely. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Nope. I'm no dude, no. I no do anything. I no do anything. I'm looking around, no do anything. I no do anything. I no do anything. It doesn't work, I'm shaking. Yeah, this is all. This is all new. All right. It's crazy how they know it if they're there. Yeah. When the person is there. I mean, it's, it's so pretty. It is. Just for the fact of being able to see it all, I mean, it's really great. Oh, it to looks neat. Oh, me too. Me too. Are you all set? Alright, we're about to go dark, guys. Oh no. The lights. They're broken. Oh no. Still lights out there. We're Central Maine Ghost Hunters. We're just talking to you. Can you tell us your name now? You got me. <laughs> Whoa. That's my that a week to Karen.
I have a I have a Karen wig. So yeah. The man that's here, there's a guy that wants to speak to you. Can you come over and speak to him? Maybe talk about your shirt? You don't have to go for me. Yeah. That's enough.
Yeah, because I definitely heard the last. I just thought it was Thank you.
did something follow you here?
Is that a play? I think so. Exactly. I'm just going to say, I don't want to lose my job. stage though
是能不能？然后我来。So that goes off by bright vibration. So the less moving we do around that, the more we'll be able to tell if that's more like legit. Oh, they move. Oh, it's just rain. Oh, it's right outside. Just hit that. Yeah, thing right here. Who Jack is? You heard Jack upstairs. Who is Jack? Is 
there a jack here? Great by you. Thank <laughs> you. 
What was your favorite thing to do when you were alive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
to come back and talk to you more when we have more time. I think we're going to have to uh, say goodbye. We do not Can you say goodbye? Before we leave? We're good. Alright, right. I wanted to keep going with that, but we got another group. But uh, if you want to follow John, I think we're going to start walking back up so Oh, he is going to run up. Okay. Look at the other room. <laughs> you should look at the other room. That one's like way bigger and yeah, way deeper. Not working. Oh.